So today I'm gonna try out Blood West. Uh, it wasn't really a game that was on my radar, but uh, I bought it in a bundle with Incision, which was a game which was on my radar, and I got them both for the price of like one, so I was like, oh, well, might as well try it. Uh, so I don't really know anything about it. Um, I did try a little bit, like a few weeks ago, when I bought Incision and the bundle. It seems it seems okay. I mean, from this image, it looks really cool. I mean, this reminds me of like a, a fiend or something from uh, The Witcher. And it's got like a sexy lady here, so I guess that's always good. It's like wiping off her shotgun. And yeah, that's all I know about it. Uh, it kind of looks like, like it's influenced by maybe blood and... Uh, thief or something because it has like stealth elements so or maybe two sex who knows uh so yeah i'm just gonna try um i think i already had an account because i tried played it for like eight minutes but let's see if i can just restart on the same account see how it goes uh, i did turn the sound down quite a lot because it was very loud in my headphones at least so we'll see how it goes. Welcome to Blood West. Okay, keys to move, left shift to run, space to jump. Talk to a nearby totem to get your bearings. Um, okay. Ooh, it's slow. I don't think there's an auto run in this game, which is a little bit annoying. But I think it is a slow paced game, so... I mean, right off the bat, it kind of looks... Reminds me kind of like how what Half-Life looks like. The mountains and stuff. Okay, cool. So you can't toggle crouch, that's cool. I don't know if I turned that on. I might have turned that on before. If to talk, Totem of Souls. Oh, it worked? It worked, and he is even in one piece. Ah, it's got dialogue options. What? Who are you? Oh, me? You mean us? Nothing but an amalgamation of souls. More important question is, who are you? Okay, so this is like a bunch of souls trapped into one totem. I don't really know. The answer is... You're undead. We brought you here by means of our immense powers from whenever place you've been before. We know of your exploits and achievements. Your fame reaches wide across the country. The nasty rumors about you reach even further. You're our ace in a sleeve. Okay, so you are undead. So that's kind of blood influenced. Um, I like how the totem looks, like I like the sort of pixel textures and stuff, and the little glowing eyes and stuff, it reminds me of, uh, well, it reminds me of many games, honestly. Uh, don't like the guy's voice as much, but that's a personal preference more than anything. I'm usually not a fan of, uh, sidekick type characters that are like meant for com like comic relief or whatever. Before you ask, no, we cannot send you back. Not yet. See, that's the nature of every summoning. It must have a reason. Hmm. So, like, I don't know if this guy's gonna be try to be funny, but uh, he's, he's got the voice, right? It's like a sort of stereotypical sidekick guy's voice. And a reason you have. As an undead outside of others' influence, you will be our torch in the dark. Your spark will become the flame to purify the rot of this world and free us from the unending cycle of despair. Sounds fun. Okay, what I should do... 
Guess that's a little bit of a weird... Search for the evil lurking in this world. Smell the sulfur in the air. Taste the corruption. Understand the shattered reality. Sense the vitriol staining the remains. Only then will you be free again and able to leave. Okay, so I guess I have to kill some bosses. <laughs> to leave. Oh, I mean, I could just press leave, so... Fuck you, I'll just jump off this cliff. Okay, so... So I can talk to it again, I wonder if it just repeats. You won't find any answers lingering here. Better move towards the dark places and glimmering gold. Okay, well, I like that there's a second... Uh, sort of follow-up thing and you can just ignore it. So, okay, let's go this way, I guess. Sneaking. Hold left control or use C to toggle. You don't have a weapon, get past the enemy. Okay. So I have to sneak past an enemy. Where's this enemy? State of sight. Notice the detection meter at the bottom of the screen. There's also a compass at top. I don't like the pop-up menus. I'm usually not a fan of that. Oh, there's the enemy there. I like that, that sneaking thing. It shows that it can hear me. That's very cool. Um, is there an item at the back there? Might be. Let's check it out. Yeah, I really like the, the sneaking thing seems quite advanced. That's cool. I like that. Okay, so I guess if... Okay. Okay, it saw me. That's fine. Just run. Fuck you. Hide and wait. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah, there we go. So it can't get through here. I wonder, can I... Can I look at it from here? Just to see the textures and shit. That's a cool looking zombie. I like that. I mean, I can't see it from the front. You can see it's ass. Obviously works out. Uh, what the fuck's this? Golden nugget. Okay, cool, thanks. Do I have like an inventory? Oh, I do. Um, healing potion. Small bottle of healing mixture. Potion created by a local madman. You doubt any living and normal human could survive drinking it. It smells of alcohol mixed with something else. It has a metallic aftertaste. There's a typo there. Two ends. Drinking it soothes the undead's wounds. Okay. So it's thirty dollars. Jesus, that's an expensive potion. Uh, so I get seventy dollars for this gold nugget. Piece of cursed gold, straight from the veins of the earth upon which you walk. Unrefined and slightly more reddish than you would expect. Okay. Try and get cool. Oh shit. I press escape. <laughs> That's why it went to the menu, so it doesn't just exit, so... Okay, so tab to toggle OC. Quest items. Notes. Putting a new note here. I woke up with this journal, <laughs> so I might as well use it. I'll try to note anything I find worth keeping in mind, so I can figure out what I was doing if my memory starts to fail me. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, so I've got levels and I've got skills. Increased melee, weapon attack speed. Um, oh, wait. Ranged, vitality, and ranger. Okay, okay, so there's a bunch of skills and a bunch of shit. I'll check that out as I level up. There's a weapon laying down there, very useful indeed. I don't like these pop up menus, like, that's, that's a bit. Uh, it's like immersion breaking, I guess. That's fine. Uh, so I can pick up an axe. Okay, so I can equip the axe. Can I just double click on it? Yeah, I can. This I can probably click drag. Okay, let me stand up. Okay, so I can... Oh, so you can just hold it. I see I've got stamina. I wonder, doesn't look like I can pick up anything else here. 
I might change my sound like a little bit. Hmm. So it doesn't sound super loud, right? In the menu, it was fucking loud. Like, it's like crazy. Uh, volume sounds. You hear that? That's like so loud, right? Turn the music up a little bit. The ambient stuff can probably be on like slightly higher. Uh, and I have the voices on 50%, so maybe, maybe that should be on 40, that should be on 50, that should be on 25. Let's see. Yeah, that's a bit better, right? And now I can hear the music, so that's cool. Guess I don't have to sneak, right? Slots for equipment, tools, single use, and artifacts can be equipped in special slots. Okay. What does that do? Bandage. Immunity stops bleeding. So I'm not sure. Oh, it's, oh, okay, I see. One, so three, four, five is accessories. So my potion will be three. This is $30 to add. I'd rather sell that, right? So this says clean bandage to heal the wound. Better than rags. Immunity stops bleeding and heals 10 HP over two seconds when used. Okay. Let's see how that goes. What the fuck is this? A feather. Oh, this is a... Effects that is not stuck with other Birdman's feathers. Remains from Birdman. <laughs> okay. Increased stamina regeneration by 25, lowers max stamina by 10%. That's... I think that's better. And this is like a passive effect. Yeah, it is. That's cool. Okay, let's see fight. Yeah, I figure that out. Attacks before I'm surprised deal more damage. Okay. Okay, so there's an enemy there and there's an enemy there. Let me just check if I'm missing anything here because it's a little bit of a maze. No? Okay. Let me fuck this thing up. They want me to, like, sneak, but... I wonder if I have to, and let's just run. Wow. Get fucked. Get fucked. Ratchet's death. Guess I took a lot of damage. At least these things do a lot of damage, or you can loot them. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so can I stack these? No. Okay, so your inventory space looks larger than what it is. Um, so let me see, so I bash his head in, let's see if I can cut his, oh you can cut him, I wonder if I can cut his, maybe, I wonder if I can cut him, okay so you can just hold down the button, look how fast my stomach is regenerating, so, like, so I can just, I can literally just attack with this feather. Okay, so you can't hack the corpse to pieces. I mean, that's not a massive issue, I guess. Okay, so four is potion. Oh, do I have to click to drink it? That's interesting. So what does it do? Does it... Heal 70 HP over 20 seconds. Mm, okay, that's not too bad. So I got a coin. Oh, you can double click on the stuff, that's cool. Uh, primary weapon says I've got $50. Don't think that's that much. What's this? A note. Oh, you can't double click. Can I right click on it? No. Oh, it's typed in it. Animated dead, a seemingly mindless creature born from malicious dark magic, is not quite the species worth observing. They can stare at a wall for hours, seemingly even enjoying it, and then shamble toothlessly around until they spot a living creature. Apparently, sight of living being wakes something inside of them. A murderous instinct. Okay. While they are not an issue for experienced hunters, many novices and unprepared folk perish during encounters with them. Behavior. Not much to write about. They charge their prey and attack in melee using their claws. 
At times they can be f perform a surprising jump attack. Okay. So I can get $10 for this. Notes on an animated dead. Scribbles on a paper. Maybe it's important. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so these things are just animated dead. Okay, that's fine. I mean, so far the game seems pretty cool. I think my biggest complaint is the voice. I believe that. Um, okay, so... I got 12 bullets, it seems. Or maybe I only have 6. I don't know. Rusty Revolver. Oh, let me read the description. Rusty Axe. Oh, I see, it actually has damage. Um, I think, so it's much better to actually use the... The, the primary attack was so fast compared to the secondary attack. It's so dull, it's more a hammer than an axe at this point. Okay, and rusty revolver. It's covered in rust, but it's still in somewhat working condition. Okay, so I got a pistol or revolver. Don't know if I can reload, guess we'll see. See, someone got crushed here by boulders. Fun. Let's put these to good use. So what are these? Golden short ammo. Damn it, um, okay, wait. I see, so this does 17 damage and it's 25 range. So it actually has a, it actually has, uh, uh, a maximum range of 25 meters. Desperate times call for desperate met people, sorry. <laughs> One of those desperados found out that bullets made from melted cursed gold are quite effective against dark forces. So can I... how do I use it though? Or is that just what's in the gun already? Kind of looks the same, right? Maybe I have to rotate... oh you can rotate. But now, how do I... It's funny, oh yeah, a weapon. Firearms can be used, uh, can be used, ah, uh, sorry, fuck. Let me restart that. Firearms can use different types of ammunition. Switch between ammo types by using V and R to reload. Okay, you can, un can unstock weapon in inventory. Not sure what that means. Maybe it's take it off. Okay, so V to change M. Oh, I see. So I've got six bullets like of that, and then I've got two of these silver bullets, I guess, or cursed gold bullets. But they kind of work like silver bullets. I guess here's this thing again. And it's got the Naruto some like spiral. Uzumaki. Um, okay, let's talk to this total you of souls. You won't find any answers lingering here. Better move towards... Oh, so he just says the same shit. Okay. Well, that's cool. I better find someone who can explain a thing or two. Oh, look at my guy. He's got like a weird hel shaman helmet on. Okay, so the totem doesn't tell me shit though. Uh, have I been crouching the whole time? Journal. J to access journal and check out current objective cons okay, so that's all. Someone's like hammering on a door somewhere. Actually I don't know what they're doing. Might be a car backfiring. Uh the hell am I? I should look for someone to help me figure out where am I and what is going on. That's like some weird English. I don't know if that's a typo, like a grammar -ish issue, or if that's literally someone that doesn't know English very well that made this. I'm not sure. Like I said, I know very little about the game. It, uh, I did not know it existed for like since I bought it. So. Well, since before I bought it? I bought it about maybe three weeks ago, so... I wonder if Oh, I do have a right click. I was wondering. So it zooms in. It's like a weak looking pistol. Pea shooter. 
So it's like the map. Can I like go down there? This is quite a quite a big map, man. Because there is a thing there, like a spirit or something. So. Oh, oh! I did not expect to jump. Like, oh, I can actually go down here. There's like a cave down there. So what the fuck's this way? I guess it's, I do lose stamina if I run. That's cool music. What is this? It's like a... Oh, I can lean. Can I lean the other way too? Yes, I can. Yeah, so this reminds me of Thief a little bit. No, I mean, obviously not this. This looks more like open world or something. Sandboxy, I don't know what the fucking genre is. So I can go down here, but I can also go down... Oh, let me just go down here. But now... Yeah, it's fine. Let me just go down here. Maybe they end up at the same place. Uh, so there's a shaman. So this, this looks like a guy that looks like me, right? So... Let's see if he attacks me. Safe zones. Here you can trade, for example, buying a map may prove useful. Some enemies may respawn upon your death or rest. Okay, so that's kind of souls like. Speak with shaman and totem of souls. Okay, so this is literally just a shaman. Um, can I put wep my weapon away? I don't want to like attack this guy ac accidentally. Okay, let me talk to him. What is it? A dead man I buried walks again. Okay, so this guy buried me. He also has the Uza monkey spiral thing. I sense the restless spirits nearby, but still I hoped your body would be protected by my charms. They were insufficient, as it seems. Okay, what happened to me? Who are you? I have no more questions. So ask who he is I, first. I am nobody. Used to talk to spirits, guide the tribe. Now, now tribe shattered. I remain in shame, wandering the lands, trying to fix what can be fixed and lay to rest what is too broken. Okay, what happened to me? I found a body, your body, among the remains of monsters and decided to bury you in a manner akin to my tribe. I did all the proper rituals, but it was not enough. And strong spirits have brought you back. I do not know if this is for a good or bad purpose. Okay, so I have good. no more questions. Good. Walk on, tainted one. And let your journey bring closure. I would go towards the town if I were you. Find tracks of Iron Horse and follow them. I saw one of your tribe around ruins, searching for something. Maybe he knows something of your past, or maybe not. Iron Horse. Is that a train or a motorbike? Oh no. Um, okay. Can we trade? Let's see. Oh, we can trade. Oh, he's got like bows and shit. But they're 500. He said he was just a guy talking to spirits, but he's like a fucking merchant that sells like his stuff at like ridiculous prices. Um, golden coin. Shiny coin made of gold. Apparently it, it was consecrated by a church official. Perhaps that's why its properties are uncommon in barren lands. While equipped, it will protect you from obtaining new soul floor upon death. Okay. Well, I can sell that. I can sell this. I think I'll keep the potion for now, because these enemies seem to deal a lot of damage. I think I should get ammo, 
But what type of ammo that is a short ammo? Is it eight dollars for four or is it eight dollars for one? Because if it's eight dollars for four, then that's stupid. No, no, that's good. If it's if it's if it's eight dollars for one, that's stupid. Then I'm gonna like use all my money on four bullets, right? I think let me just see maybe I'll just pick up shit. I need to find the evil of this land and put it down for good. Okay, level oh I leveled up. Okay. Um apparently I can press H. Okay. I can feel my knowledge increased. I can probably also just go to this, right? So I got three skill points. Oh I see. So does this cost two? Yeah it does. Okay, I think vitality is my survivability is more important. At first, increase max HP, running speed, decreases damage from bleeding, healing, okay, mule, increase size of inventory. Let's go with this first. Increase my HP by 25%. Uh, so I've got another one. Oh, I do have, uh, with melee weapon and iron stamina regeneration is faster. So I can become like a melee junkie. Lessons weapons sway when aiming by 25%. Okay. Greatly increases chance of retrieving unbroken arrow. That's cool. Alcohol doesn't work on you as much. Okay. Increases chance of finding gold by 5%. Increases range of throwable items. Increases chance of finding loot on monsters by 30%. Yes, please. Okay, so... Looter shooter. <laughs> Let's see if this motherfucker Since says something. Here, let us explain what okay, is there we needed go. of you. This place has been corrupted by a curse, and you need to find its source. We don't know what has brought it to this land, so keep your eyes open. Bring us anything you may deem weird or disturbing. Okay. I mean, this thing is fucking weird and disturbing. <laughs> and if you happen to get lost, come to us. We may be able to help or ease your burden. For now, we know where you can begin your search. Thanks. Follow the most strong scent of darkness around, under the burned church. Within ruined city, you will find part of your answers. Okay, Diablo vibes. Anything else? Can you help me? Where should I go next? Okay, let's see if you uh, can help me. We could, could we? Yes, definitely. We could bless you. Not for free, mind you. What do you require? We seek the cursed gold, the I shining metal of doom sold. and corruption. Bring it to us so we may hide it from the mortal hands. You got the gold? Bury it beneath this totem and we shall bless you. I've the gold. I've. That sounds so weird, right? I don't think I've... I have... I have the goal. Wow, that sounds so weird to me. Even though it, like, it seems right. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll usually say I've got the gold. Not I've... Not I've the gold. I have the gold. I have got the gold. No, that's so strange. Maybe it's just a dialect thing. Uh, okay, we let's can see. do many things, but you can only select one. What will it be? I want to have cat's luck. What is that? Oh, so I don't know what that does. Make me so. Okay, so that gives me more drop rate, probably. Bless me with the brute strength of the bear. Give me magpie's ability to spot shiny things. Um, what? the fuck I feel like I can spot shiny things by myself so let's go with the fucking cat's luck every blessing lasts until you die thanks 
Um. Okay. So apparently I'm lucky now. Lucky as a cat. Search the church. I will no longer be cursed upon death. Um, okay, so this says, I guess you respawn on death. What uh, I can use. Rest here. What does that do? Does that just heal me? Can you save in this game? Oh, you can save and exit. Okay, so... So I can't, like, quick save or anything. Okay. Well, let's see. There's an enemy over there. I guess I can shoot it. Does it... Oh, it does change my, my accuracy. How far is 25 meters? Like, this could be 25 meters, but this could also be, like, 10 meters, so... Let's see if I can hit it. There's a little bit of a sway. I don't think I hit it. Okay, I did hit it. Headshot. <laughs> so I only have six bullets. Okay. Oh, that's a cool blood effect. I like that. And did I blow its jaw off? Looks like it, right? Nice. There's another thing there, and there's another one there. Tooth. Okay, so I can sell teeth. I missed. So the axe has like got a, quite a. Um, oh, it says I'm bleeding, or at least I've got like an open wound or something. Uh, I am taking bleeding damage, but it's not a lot. So it's like about 10 damage, maybe? It's not that bad. So I've picked up a bunch of... Uh... Oh, here's the, the... It's a train, okay. So that's the, the steed that guy was talking about. So I took 60 dam... Like, that's quite a lot of damage. These enemies are quite strong. Yeah. Oh, nice. So he reloads it one at a time. Wow. I guess that's realistic. Here's another note. You can never have too much of those. Notes on spirits. The specific properties of dark magics working in the barren lands are still unknown, and spirits are another proof of our lack of understanding of these phenomena. For a long time it was assumed that only matter can be subjugated to deformations and formed into new odd shapes. With the discovery of spirits that view expired as we saw proof that even an essence of a living being, mostly human, can be altered and made visible to the naked eye. Okay. Behavior. The ethereal nature of spirits make them less vulnerable to traditional firearms. But silver ammunition has proved to be much more effective. Experienced shooters can know to wait the spirit out, baiting a charged attack. That's when the tormented soul is the most exposed. Okay, but these were not, these were golden short ammo, right? I mean, they're not silver bullets. So I don't have silver bullets. Unless that's what they mean. Because it does say it does more like damage to like magic type dudes. Um, doesn't look like I can pick up any of this shit. I wonder if I'm missing. Well, I see there's another train track here that's broken. Ugh, not train track, I mean just. Oh, yes. Never gets the job done. Shotgun ammo. I don't have a shotgun. So I can go this way, but I can also go that way. This way seems like a dead end, but let's, uh, let's go this way first, just to see. Yeah, okay, so this is a dead end. I 
Doesn't seem to be anything here. Okay, well, let's go. So it's full moon. I keep thinking the cactus cacti are going to damage me when I run into them. They probably won't. Guess I can test it. I should probably drink a potion because I've taken 60 damage. And a potion heals for uh, 70. So I've taken 65. <laughs> so this is a cigar box. Can I open this? No. I know there's something on top of the tr No, there's nothing on top. Okay. It's a cool looking train. I mean, actually, like, overall, the game is like, it's cool looking. Like, it's, it has the retro vibe and retro feel, but it's like more 3D and stuff than most of the other ones that I've played. Like I said, it looks a lot more like Half-Life or something. Um, I I can't remember Thief very well. I played the second one, but I never finished it because I think either my computer crashed or something or my save file crashed. There was a reason why I stopped playing for some reason. I think my game crashed at the end, like when I was finishing a level, I think it crashed. I wanted to see if I can go up here, but it doesn't look like it. Um, I think my game crashed at the end of like a long level. And then I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, I don't want to redo that level. I think that's what's, what happened. Okay, so when you get closer to these things, they're quite easy. You can just one shot them. Scum of the earth. <laughs> And like Thief is a very slow game, and the levels are quite big to like explore and stuff. So I think I don't know. I can't remember. Like I, I really don't know. I, I need to play the game again just to just check it out. I see. I can go down here. Oh, okay. Let me not fucking fall down. Let's go down very far. But then. There might be a cave over here. Let's see. Oh, there's an enemy somewhere. Something something heard me. Oh, there's a cave here. Boom. Headshot. <laughs> oh, this is a like zombie. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> um, okay, pickaxe zombie. Can I not loot him? I guess he has no loot. Okay, let me use the axe instead, because firing at like a moving target is quite hard and I'm going to waste my ammo. I only have two bullets left anyway. I guess there's a cave here. Can't get the pickaxe. Can I destroy this stuff? Doesn't look like it, so... Yeah, anyway, so far the game seems cool. I think it. I think I'll enjoy this game. Like, I like how everything looks. I like that it has like feels like it has some sort of depth to it. Because there's like NPCs and shit you can talk to, and you got multiple like dialogue options and crap. I saw there was an enemy in front. There's that enemy. Eh? Um, so far it doesn't feel like I have to really sneak. We'll believe the freak. There's another enemy like there. So I'm gonna get a ton of gold from just from this, so I'm wondering there's a dude there. Let me see if I sneak if it does anything. Like you do more damage. They said, but so this is like a little dungeon sort of area. What the fuck is this? Is this a piece of sausage? Was it an arm? Could be an arm, I guess. Can 
Because I can't pick up any of this stuff. Can I climb down this ladder? Let's see. Oh, okay, so you do. It's a little bit awkward to go down the ladders. But you can, like, get on it mid midfall or whatever. It's like Half-Life had a very similar, like, awkward way of getting on ladders. It's so interesting that they can they can hear me like like quite easily. Um, oh wow, critical hit! I mean, I knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't know it would just instantly kill him. So I guess sneaking around does work, but I guess running also just works. <laughs> It helps that my range is like quite heavy. I see press T to take everything. I don't actually. Okay, right, let me just. Oops. Um, T to take everything. All right. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like I have an equipment like weight, so I don't think I have to worry about about that. It's more about equipment size. And I see the teeth do stack. Um, so that's good. Okay, let me sneak. Get back to hell. Yeah, the range of the axe is nice. It's making the game quite easy to avoid damage. Well, with these guys at least, like obviously, ranged enemies will be a different story, right? Because I can see they can they do a lot of ton, like ton of damage. What do you say? Oh, I got more bullets. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, they do a lot of damage, but it, it's very easy to avoid. So there's an exit there. One of those bridges is gonna collapse. Oh, fuck. There's an enemy there. There's an enemy there. I really like that, that they can hear and see you. That adds. It adds, like. Uh. Like some sort of realism to it, like that it shows that they can hear you and see you. It's cool. Oh, I think it's cool. <laughs> okay, so I can go up here. So I started up there. There's another enemy over here, so I can exit there. But let me go this way around. There. I guess you could just play this game without like caring about stealth as well. Because I, 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 I don't think I have to. Oh, there's an enemy there. Like obviously the critical hits kills them like one shot, whereas the you have to do it two shots otherwise. But if you get a headshot, that seems to deal them more damage anyway. So it's probably almost like a critical, right? This is. Oh, wait, I can actually... Solar fork. What does that do? Trader will pay, okay. Five dollars, they say it'll pay well, but... Five dollars is not well. That's the same as the fangs. There's a clock. Can I use the clock? Yellow river. Is that a type of... Uh... Okay, so you can't break the items. I mean, like, miscellaneous objects. $30. Brought to the barren lands by the vet veterinarian. A veteran veterinarian. He claimed that it, if it helps horses, therefore it must be good for scavengers as well. Turns out he was right. Increases maximum stamina for 300 seconds. Okay, okay. That's something I'd rather sell. Um... 
So far I'm not having fucking stamina problems. <laughs> the feather I've got on is like giving me a massive boost. Just look at that. By the time my an the animation is finished, my stamina is full again. So I can literally spam attack. Shotgun ammo. Um, I need a shotgun. Okay, so, wow. so I can go down there, like all the way down there. Um, I don't see a ladder. I guess I have to go back. Oh, my guy's running loudly. No wonder they can hear me. <laughs> I don't have this place mapped out in my head. Okay, so... I came down here, so I could have also just gone down here. Oh, so now I'm confused. I don't think I can go down further from here. I think I actually have to exit. Unless there's a ladder like over here somewhere. But I don't see one. No, I think I actually have to go out here then and go down, down the slope, or whatever, like down this way, to the bottom, but this, okay, oh, those spirits, I don't know if I can fight spirits, right, oh, I see at the top it actually shows me that there's enemies that way, so I do have bullets though, but oh wait, but now how do I know which bullets I'm using? Oh, so this doesn't pause. Short ammo. Okay, so this is the this is the fancy bullets. Okay. Strange. No I don't I don't know how to fight these. They're up there, right? And there's a guy there's some guys hanging there as well. Can I I could probably just shoot one and get it down here. So I can go that way. I can go this way. Oh, there's one of these things saw me, I think. So this is like a floating head, floating skull. Okay, let me change it to the regular bullets because. Oh, wait, there's another one there, but there's also a regular enemy. Um, wait, can I pick up this ladder? No, I don't know why it's flashing. I thought maybe if I can pick up the ladder, I can move it to climb down further. Okay, so I'm going in my own fucking direction. I don't have a map, so I guess... I guess we're just exploring now. Watch me like... Oh, there's a... Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that like a fucking bird man? Hawk boy. Hawk man. <laughs> Hawk person. I guess it could be like a buzzard or something. Okay, well let's sneak. So there's one up here somewhere. Is it this one? Maybe he's got very good hearing or something. Okay, so you can't see through there. It's got a gun. Oh no, I 
think I should just run and kill him. Fuck you, Birdman. Asshole. Dealt me so much fucking damage. Uh. Ah, uh, shit. Um, what is it? Number three. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so these guys have guns, so that's... And it looked like my gun was out of range, honestly. Oh, where the fuck are they? I think I need to sneak up on these. Okay, so I like that it dis the, the hearing thing disappears like very quickly. This guy's gonna turn around. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, so I definitely have to use sneaking on these guys. Unless I can, like, get to them, like, very quickly. Um, doesn't seem like they can see very far. I wonder if there's, like, a cycle of day and night, or if it just remains night, like, permanently. Uh, also, I wonder if he's gonna see his dead a ally. It doesn't look like it, right? No? Okay, so that's... Okay, so he doesn't care about his dead ally. <laughs> oh, look, he's got like a sheriff's badge. Jesus, well, look at this fucking monstrosity. Oh, nice, you can cut his head off. I wonder if you can take trophies. See, you can cut off their heads, but you can't... Did I cut this one? <laughs> okay. Um, am I getting bullets from them? It says I'm getting guns, right? Unstuck ammo. Oh, I see. So I can... I can collect that. What? Short ammo. Okay, so I can get ammo from the guns and then you can sell the guns. That's kind of interesting. So it does the guns doesn't just automatically give you um ammo. That was easier. Just to fucking aim at him. Instead of... Oh, uh, there's that bullets there, so I'll have to go back. Instead of trying to do this... Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's down there. Okay, I need to remember to get him as well. Good ammo. Golden shot. Oh, so you can just climb down by looking down. That's okay, that's not too hard. Like Half-Life was probably more difficult to climb down ladders. Always had fucking trouble with that. Ah, there's like a fucking woman with a rifle. Let me fucking run, there's another one there. So that's like a... What's that, like a fucking little tavern or something? Town. Well, this is like a hideout. Okay, I wanted to get the bullets over here. Oh, Ammo. My gun doesn't seem very strong. So I'm gonna have to... I wonder, does it tell me if I level up? Okay, yeah, I think it does. It's so strange to me that I leveled up, like, so easily, like... Um, let me just... But I guess that was just a, like an automatic level up, just to show you how to level up and stuff. I wanted to see the outhouse. Is there actually something in there? There is. Handy. Is it just a fan? It's just a tooth. Oh, wait, so... So some of these... Why are these 
Uh, because he's a five, that only has four. Okay, makes sense. Cigar box. Box of premium cigars popular among the rich folks. Tastes like heaven. Describes the text on the one side. Trade will pay well. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I've got a bunch of crap I can sell. What do these feathers do? Same thing. Exactly the same. And they don't stack, so... Okay, let's see if I can... Take out this tavern and the winch with the rifle. See one in here. There's one over there. Um, that doesn't sound like a human. Fucking creepy sounding. So there's one above, might be one on the other side of this wall. Oh, uh, this is sort of... Oh, fuck. Oh, I died. Shit, died so quickly. I guess I was only on 50 life. Not even disc will stop me. Okay, so what happened now? Oh, I lost the the cat's luck thing. Okay, so these are like... These totems, are, these are like your shrines. Uh, your Dark Souls shrines. Well, that's cool. Did I lose? No, I didn't lose any of my shit. I didn't lose bullets or anything. But I think there's a curse of death or something. Didn't lose cash either. Okay. So that wasn't actually that bad. Dead man walking. Speak. Uh, yeah, let's try it. So I got a bunch of crap on the cell. Um, cigar box map. All the fucking guns. Nice, and so I've got some. So I can get a. No, I can't get a bow. I can get this bow, hunting bow. Preferred weapon for experienced hunters who move silently and kill unseen. Primary attack 21, range 21 meters. That's cool. Secondary attack 20, what is this to? Raven Skull. Used to teleport to the last totem of souls you bound. Ah, uh, well that's cool. It's like a home, homeward bound portal type thing. I uh, got a gold nugget. So... I have to buy arrows as well though. So that's the problem with that. <clears throat> small bag small leather sack which can be used to store various items okay hmm. there is a map here well I guess I need to get that because I mean the map's so big that it doesn't it's easy enough to kind of figure out like where where to go like I f it's like not as maze like you know but let me just get it anyway um and then let me get the ammo oh, so that was not that expensive actually silver short ammo let me get that too and shotgun ammo let me just buy the shotgun ammo for when I get a shotgun Hundred, nah, fuck that. I'll rather just like not take damage. So I can get a hunting bow. Hmm. Seventeen twenty-one. So the hunting bow does more damage. Maybe I should just get the bow to have a secondary ranged weapon. Instead of the melee weapon. Yeah, let's try it. Buy some arrows as well. Let's buy all the fucking arrows. Okay, let's see how that is. Um, okay, let's let's equip the bow. Oh, I can't. I have to equip it in my. I have to actually equip it in my primary. Okay, so it loads one arrow at a time. So it said 
enemies respawn. So let's see which of these enemies respawned. These look dead. So these did not respawn. Right? Yeah, no, these look fucked. So I think down here, I can just go down here to get back to the tavern. But I think the guy said I should follow the train tracks. I see there's a burnt down church in front there. So let me just fucking do that, because that's what they want me to do, right? There's the enemy over there. Let's, let's see. So I can zoom in. Let's see if I can snipe his ass from here. Met effective shot due to something. Well, it looks like I can get the arrows back. Oh, I see. So you can, you have a chance of getting them back. That's cool. That's like way more effective than the gun, right? So I'd highly recommend using the. Can I use this? Can I chop this? What is this? Uh, it was it was like a a pulley system type thing to lift heavy shit, but it broke. Okay, what's this? All right, I got a map now. Notes on a prodigal daughter. Okay, an interesting study could be written while observing an alteration known among hunters and daredevils brave enough to venture into barren lands as the prodigal daughter. While it remains mostly human, at least at first glance, the damage done by dark magics to its brain seems to be most severe. Even if it remains... Oh, sorry. Even if it maintains the ability to speak, the creature suffers from a heavy case of megalomania, seeing itself as a beautiful young lady, and demanding total and unconditional admiration from the whole world. All the while wearing a mask that hides hideous deformations and a dreadful countenance whose owner has no restraints in using a shotgun when met with disapprobation. Don't know this word. But I guess I know what it means. Okay, so behavior. Therefore, it is best to kill prodigal daughters swiftly, if possible, as any prolonged combat may prove fatal. Shooting it in the face <laughs> will break the mask and make the creature more aggressive, which may be undesirable. Anything that may reveal their ugliness, be it a living being or even an inanimate object, like a mirror, becomes the target of a vicious and furious attack. The creature will not cease its attacks until its target is destroyed or itself annihilated. Hmm. Okay. So that's what was down there, the weird zombie woman. Okay, wait, so I can... Yeah, let me just go this way. Oh, right, I wanted to check the map. Eh, I keep double-clicking. Oh, I can just press M. So where the fuck am I? Is this me? Player, yeah. It's weird that it says player and not, uh, you know, reborn or whatever the fuck I am. Entry to safe zone. Okay, so it's... I should search the ruined church in town and find the evil within. Okay. So I'm here. I was down here before. Quest. Okay, so that's the quest. The X. This dot is the entry to safe zone. So here's another one here. Okay. And a bed is that other one. Okay. Cool. That looks safe. There's a dropping off. There's some sort of thing down there. Abomination. I like the sound on when you run on this. So it says fort that way, town that way, mines that way. Because I want to go to the church. So, let's go to the church. Oh, here's the safe zone, right? Let's close to the church. Let's 
talk to my sidekick totem friend. You hear buzzing of great evil nearby. A blessing, yes? You got the gold? Shame. Sorry, I don't have gold, okay. What's this guy? Jim Hooper. New face around these parts? Come in. It's safe here, unlike most of this area. One of those bravados looking to make a quick buck? Just don't come back to me crying about all them monsters. All I care is that I get my share and I stay out of trouble. Okay. Listen. What's going on here? To say, you certainly figure this place ain't normal or safe. I don't expect a warm welcome from the locals either. But if you know your stuff, you can make a coin or two pillaging and scavenging. Or killing monsters, if you're so inclined. If I were you though, I would just stay quiet. But if you really want to get to the heart of the evil, well, you're on good track. There's an old burnt church around here, and that's already quite nasty. But where's the money in that? Better to scavenge whatever you can, sell it, and leave the damn place to rot for all I care. Okay, coming trade. Well, he sells a shotgun. 1,000, 400, 500. He's got an axe, balance combat axe. It's better than my axe. Only slightly. Three damage more. Sort of shotgun. I'm not a fan. Revolver. Slightly better than mine. 22. So it does five more damage. And it costs 85. I wonder. Uh, does it? Five more damage. The range is the same. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Orb of Night. It's so shiny, you can almost use it as a mirror. Killing monsters in style was never easier. Oh, uh, this is like a rare item. Look, it's got like rare stats and things. Damage to spirit increased by 50%. Enemies killed with swept and give extra experience, faster reload. So is this like a looter shooter type game? Hmm. I didn't know if that's what it is. I even ex didn't expect that. Uh. Okay. Cool. But I see he's got a you map. A minute? You could help a fella and earn something on the side. Oh, he's giving me like a side quest. Um, Thanks, sure. Pal. So here's the deal. I know of a few places worth looting, and I am sure something is there that can make a good buck. You bring it to me, and I'll share the spoils with you. You find anything else? You keep it. I know there's an artifact in that ruined watchtower that overlooks town. But the damn place is haunted by spirits, and I don't have enough courage to fight them or sneak past. Bring that artifact to me, and I will pay you. Okay, cool. My name? Just call me Jim. So I want to see what map is. Map of the canyons, I guess it's the same map. Uh, maybe I should buy ammo from him place. then. Does he sell ammo? Short ammo. So he doesn't sell the gold or the silver ammo. Flammable short ammo. Okay, that's fine. What's this? Player stash. Ah, so I can stash it. Uh, is there anything I want to stash in here? Maybe shotgun ammo? I think I'll keep the gold and silver. Um, I'll keep the axe for now, so let's stash the shotgun ammo. There's a bed. What's this? Birdman. I like these little, like, things you pick up with for the, for the enemies, that's cool. Give, like, a little lore description and stuff. Among all the weird spawns that plague the barren lands, this is the one that a great number of people find the most disturbing. And I have to admit, there's something unsettling about the Birdman, as this is how it has been named. From a distance, it may be mistaken for a human, as it retains the bipedal posture of one. But the closer one gets to it, the more vexing the apparition becomes. And when it shrieks, all illusion of any potential humanity vanish instantly. Capable of using weapons, they use them with deadly accuracy behavior. Birdman is always in da a danger with their accuracy and ability to dodge and maneuver rapidly by flying. 
albeit for uh, very short distances. Okay. I didn't see them fly, so I guess I backstabbed most of them. Silver bullets are deemed a more effective, though expensive, means of slaying them. Okay, so they're magical. Okay. I think these notes would have been like more effective if they handwritten them, hand wrote them or whatever, but then I guess it might be harder to read them. So, but I think it would have been more flavorful if it was like that. But I mean, that's just a personal opinion, honestly. Um, hmm. Looks like there's enemies up there. Oh, they birdmen. Uh, there's an enemy somewhere close by. I wonder where. Is it that there? Like, can it hear me from here? Ah, oh, there's a saloon. Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. What the fuck? Ah, oh, something's hearing me. I think it's something up there. That's crazy that some of the enemies can hear you like from so far away. Um, I was checking if there's a back door or a cellar or something. There's an enemy right here. There we go. So it takes three shots. Oh, I'm breaking all my arrows. What the fuck? Oh, that's just a bird, man. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say it takes three arrows, even if you do get a critical with the bow and arrow. Shit. Shit. Good night. Cancel. No. Whatever gets the job done. No, you can't can oh I don't know how to cancel. Guess I can go in here. I see this enemy head over there. Oh no, it's not oh there's an enemy head, yeah. Scum of the earth. <laughs> guess I killed a prodigal daughter, I guess. Ah, uh, you can look up its skirt. Fancy. Curious to see what's. Oh, I got a shotgun. Nice. Curious to see what his face looks like, because apparently they're ugly as fuck. Is there like a zombie in here? No. Ah, uh, but I destroyed its head, so I can't even see. Unfortunate. It's funny because the oh wait what's this cigar box? Um, the thing was saying like uh, if you destroy their mask, they go like apeshit. But it's like I just destroyed <laughs> destroyed its head. I can hear. Like the sound is weird. Like I don't know if this is below me, but in my it sounds like it's on the roof. There's an enemy there. I wonder if I can shoot through this gap. Probably not. Let's try. I missed. Oh shit. Fuck me. Where the fuck did it run out? Okay. Okay, so there was one somewhere over there. That's why it was sounding so loud, I think. I like the skill that I can pick up the fucking arrows, that's very really cool. I'm trying to see if this one has an arrow. Doesn't look like it. Um, I don't have a potion. Shotgun does 60 damage, but only 11 meter range. I chucked my bullets, so I guess I'm not going to use that now. Okay, it doesn't seem like... So, uh, so it was here, okay. That's why... It sounded like so loud there. The fuck kind of... Is that some weird witchcraft fucking opinion? 
it's cool that it's like because it's like pixel art but uh it's like you can kind of make it out i think that's one uh even that painting is like kind of creepy that's one cool thing that i like about these sort of old games it's like i think it's more effective like sort of creepy shit because you you have to kind of imagine it more like what it's supposed to be oh, God. it's like in horror movies when you see see like in monster movies when you see the monster then it becomes less like you know then it's just like uh it's like a shitty cgi thing it's not as scary anymore you know well that's my opinion anyway um, can I sleep here? No. Well, it doesn't look like there's any... Oh, wait. There's something here. It might be the thing outside there, the Birdman. You can Bowler have hat. too much of those. <laughs> I like the cheesy one-liners, that's funny. Uh, sort of shotgun. How much space do I even have left? I'm running out of inventory space. This guy's dead. Is that a knife? Oh, good. Uh, it's making the sound effect of thief when you pick up treasure. I will need that. So it's definitely influenced by by Thief. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a mod for Thief because I've heard that Thief mods are similar to the Doom mods. That there's like a Let's massive community of them. That'll come in handy. What's this up here? Shotgun ammo. Okay. Oh, there's an arrow here. Let's put these to good use. Um. Okay. My guy's fucking shit at the piano. Also, the piano sounds out of tune. <laughs> Can I open this? Oh, you can just walk through. Okay, cool. So I think you can shoot them from here, but I think the there's like a damage drop off. I keep forgetting that I'm crouching. Okay. Dude, Birdman, you like this fucking farm here. Scum of the earth. <laughs> Scum of the earth, motherfucker. Oh no. Um is there not an auto range? I really run out of space here. Ah, oh, this takes two slots. These take one slot. Okay, so it doesn't auto arrange. It doesn't auto arrange your inventory, which is a bit annoying. Um, these all do the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Not enough space in my inventory. Okay. Um, if that's the case, I'm um, I'm actually gonna drop the axe. I think I'm actually gonna drop the shot oh wait no you know what I'm gonna drop the sword of shotgun do 
I need to let her show. Fuck the slur. Maybe I should keep the X because the X um, can always do with some more bullets. It's a melee weapon, so. If I run out of arrows, then I, I need more bullets. I need a melee weapon. Ah, oh, shit. It's an arrow. Yeah. Um, I wanted to check how long I've been recording for. Because. Okay. I think I'm just going to go to the church and then check out what that's about. Church is over there though. Otherwise, like, this video is going to be start getting too long. Okay, so I got more spoons and shit. Can I open this? No. Inventory is full. What is this? Short ammo. God. Um, I guess I can drop these, like, prodigal daughter things. So I've read these already now, so I guess I don't need them. Oh, and this is, this is just an extra gun. I can just drop that too. Alcohol. Oh, uh, the alcohol, like, it's $50 for that bottle. That's crazy. That's it. Like, I'd prefer to pick up all the ammo, because usually in these types of games, I feel like that's like your sort of main thing, your lifeline. Oh, there's a rope. Can I climb this rope? Oh, that's cool, you can. Nice. It's like a ladder. Oh, there's ammo up here too. Can I jump? <gasps> I can jump. Can I? Oh, <laughs> shit. I forgot it's not toggle run. Okay, you can jump really far. Oh, you should. Um, can I shoot those guys? I guess I can do like a lone gunman, you know, hide behind the... One thing I don't like is that it doesn't tell me what ammo I'm using, but I guess it sh that's gold and that's silver. Let me try the gold um, bullets against these guys. I think the silver bullets are meant to be. Okay, I killed the one. Oh, I ran out of bullets. Um, let me go to the regular bullets. Can they actually get up here? Doesn't sound like they can get up here. No, okay, they can't get up here. So that's cool, so I can... I can wait around for them to... Where the fuck are they gonna come out there? Ah, uh, there. <laughs> Shot in the ass. Oh. Headshot, but he didn't die. Shot in the back. Man, these things take a lot of like... I wonder if there's falling damage. Let me test it. No. At least not from that height. Um, I was gonna say, these things are quite tanky. Um, okay, so I can't just take the ammo out. It kind of it annoys me a little bit that it uh, doesn't just take the... Like, auto-range it, the items. You know, like in Diablo, or whatever. Or there's at least an auto-range button you can press that 
that allows you to I missed. I missed again. Fuck me. Did not. Oh, cool. I leveled up. Nice. Where the fuck did my arrows go? Out there. Hangman's noose. Oh, a tumbleweed. That's cool. <laughs> so you can't climb. At least I don't think you can. Do you need cleaver? Or blades. Always do with some more bullets. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this this is the one I shot from yonder. Chuck it. So there's the church there. I wanted to see if this guy actually comments on this. No. <laughs> there's some ammo up there. There's an enemy there. Don't know how to get this. Maybe there's a ladder somewhere? Oh, maybe if I jump from there. Um, Good. It's even cushion, nice. Uh, yes. I was gonna say, it's like my fucking aim was starting to go off. Uh, you know what? I fucking leveled up. I should, uh, get the miss. It doesn't seem to pause when you. When you open your menu, so let me get that. There was a fucking error. This one greatly increases chance of retrieving. Yeah, like I want to learn that. Lessons weapons sway when aiming. Weapon it's not using gun power. Okay, so I can draw faster. Decreases firearm. Increases effect distance for headshots. That sounds cool. Yeah, let's go for that. Guess I'm a ranged guy now. Let me just go into the church. Here's the point. Oh, I see it's got... It's got spirits. I'm not sure where that watch, watchtower is that the guy was talking about. Don't know if it's that. It doesn't look like that. Um, oh, there's, uh, there's like regular enemies in here too. Am I going to have to fight the spirits and the regular enemies at the same time? I wonder. Ashes to ashes. Nice. Snipe that motherfucker. Did not snipe that one. No, oh, he shot me. Oh, shit. Oops. Okay, let me run away. Surprising the bullets do less damage than the than the fucking zombies, right? Okay, I lied. Bullets do a fuck lot of damage as well. <laughs> let me just drink my push on. Okay. There's a birdman inside there, so yeah, I can collect all my fucking arrows. It does greatly increase the chance. <laughs> um, I probably don't need another feather. Yeah, fuck the feathers. So, oh, uh, this one also. Um, and then I missed some shots too, so... See where the missed shots went. Oh. oh shit. So I got solar bullets, so let's see if it's like a one shot kill with these. Where the fuck was 
there was a rift down here, right? Yeah, there was. I kind of wanted to see me so I can come towards me because it does. The, the way it's moving now is like hard to track. Nice. Uh, okay, so they one shot kill with the silver bullets. So that's cool. I wonder what the range is though. Like, can I get this one from here? Hmm. I feel like I should be able to. I'm waiting for it to kind of go into my mist. I wonder what that does, like it charged up an attack, I wonder if it was going to explode. I see there's another arrow. Whatever gets the job done. These are quite far from... I'll have to go up there, right? But how do I do that? I guess I can jump up there, but then they'll probably come down anyway. So do I have to go down here? Yes, uh, um, fuck the axe. Who needs the axe? Okay, yes, I have to actually go down here. Okay, interesting. So it's like, kind of like a semi-dungeon, I guess. There's an enemy there. Okay, so it takes three hours to kill them. I don't know if these attacks count as su surprise attacks, right? Because it doesn't say... I don't think it... To good use. I don't think it says that I got a critical. Oh. What I like about the the sneaking system is that because of the hearing thing, you can kind of tell when there's enemies around, like immediately from... Okay, this looks... Because it like shows up immediately once you're close to enemies. Yeah, you see. So it's cool. Die. Birdman shot the zombie. Oh shit. Fucking Birdman. Dude, I'm not getting headshot. God damn it. Fucking bird. I'm gonna have to get another potion, otherwise I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, good. Ammo. So it takes like five shots to kill a bird man. Um, I guess they better to kill with the silver bullets, right? Let's put these to good use. But the silver bullets are like expensive. And they're rarer, so it's there's also that. Uh, missed a bunch of shots too. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> Talk about the devil. Just go like around. Hopefully, none of this like breaks down. 
looks like. I wonder if there's water down there. Don't know if you can swim in this game. I haven't encountered any water right. Okay, let me just run. Oh shit. Okay, at least uh, you can kind of run back. Due to the distance. Oh, fuck. Luckily, I can just pick up my arrows. That's a great skill. It's like, definitely, if you want to play with a bow and arrow, take that fucking Fletcher um, skill. So you can literally, like, play on one arrow. <laughs> It seems. Okay, so there's nothing here. This is where I, this is where I came in, right? So I could go that way. But I could also go this way. It's another big drop. Small bullets. I can always do with some more bullets. Okay, so there's another bird man and there's a bunch of zombies. I wonder if they can fall off. Oh, that's cool, you can You can distract them. Okay. Fucked up. Um but there's a yeah, I was gonna say I can crouch underneath here to hide from them. The fuck's this thing? Fucking centipede demon. Am I like missing? So, uh, they do show you where the enemies are, which are kind of cool. Fucking straight jacket centipede weird thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Good ammo. It is called a human peed. So it's literally a human centipede thing. Creepy. Was it this way? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's cool that it gives you like a little bit of a chance there, like just to assassinate it. This looks like a dead end. Oh wait, but you know what? I did pick up that acid gland. Oh, okay, so that doesn't says resistant to acid. Reduces maximum HP. Okay, it's not too bad. But it's not uh, my thing is better that I'm using the feather. I don't actually know if the feather is doing anything for Okay, so that looked like a dead end. Um I was gonna say it for the ranged attacks, I don't know if the feather does anything for that. So I guess I have to go this way then, right? Was it this way? Or was it? I think it's this way. The original way that I was going. But this looks like a drop. Oh, uh, it is a drop, but it goes, it actually goes down, okay. So that's how you get down there. Ladder. Don't know if there's like any traps in this game. I haven't seen any, so. 
you're an enemy right here. There's an enemy there. Like the enemies feel like they kind of they they kind of clever actually because like he waited for me to to come out to to shoot me he didn't just shoot wildly so it's actually interesting uh, I need to actually use the golden bullets. I don't have any bandages. No. I do have those. So there's a quick and melee attack. No. Reduces damage from enemies. Fuck. And you see, and he's actually jumping. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Close to dying. Gonna have to play very carefully now. Okay, let's see. Not getting any fucking. Ugh, come on. I'm not getting any healing stuff really. That's frustrating. Okay. Oh, I guess I can. Stop it, me now. What is this? Soul floor. You'll receive one with every death. Three of them will turn into a horrible curse. You can resist the effects of soul floor using potions and artifacts. Okay. Well, I wanted to buy. Um, I wanted to buy stuff anyway, so You're I guess back. it's okay. Uh, so I can sell all this crap, golden cup, stain, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna call it the, like, I mean, you can clearly see what the game's about. I think it's a cool game so far, it's really interesting and like, like the world feels like interesting and the characters and enemies and everything feels interesting. So I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's worth trying out, like trying out. Um, like I said, I did buy it in a bundle, so I got it for cheaper than what the actual price is. But I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's, I think it's like a hundred and something rand, which is like ten dollars maybe, maybe five dollars even. So I think it's worth checking out. Uh, Fuck, we need to sell the shotgun as well. I'll stash all the shotgun ammo. Don't know why it didn't stack the arrows, that's weird. Oh, this guy doesn't... This guy doesn't sell arrows. What a douchehead. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a potion, because I keep needing potions. I think I sh should buy the potions, even though they're like a hundred gold. Um, he doesn't sell bows either, which is also annoying. So you can get a Molotov cocktail. Uh, let me buy the golden coin so I can get the the blessing again from this fucker. Even we cannot penetrate the unnatural type of blessing. You got the gold. We can do many things, but you can only select one. What will it be? I think I'll just go with the cuts lucky. Oh shit. Did I attack this? So how do I get rid of this fucking curse thing? 
Oh, there we go. It says your maximum health is lowered by 2%. Ah, it's not too bad. Like, I've got slightly higher life already. So I see I've got three less... Three less HP. Oh, I wanted to... I wanted to stash all the... Like, shotgun ammo. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm just going to call it there. Um, I was hoping to finish the church just to see what, what the deal is with the church, but this video is going to go on for too long since I've died. So I think, yeah, I think it looks cool. I think this game is better than, like, I came in not expecting anything, honestly. But so far it looks fucking cool. It's like, it, it's like a, almost like an action RPG sort of game, right? It's with stealth mechanics and like a very sandboxy sort of open world kind of vibe. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I think it looks cool. And I think you should try it out. So cool. Shut. Um, oh, now I don't know if this is going to actually save and exit to the menu or... Okay, yeah, no, it did. Um, so yeah, like, I don't know how big this world is, like, this area that I was in seems to be like, like, uh, just a small area. There might be like woods and things and swamps and shit, so who knows? Like, this map could be massive. Uh, I also don't know if there's like, I don't think there'll be levels, but maybe, maybe it's just like, kind of a big open area. Is that the woman's fucking nipple there? Like, is she just wearing her corset, like, like, underneath her boobs? Like, that's, like, so strange if that's the case. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um, so yeah, so it's Blood Waste. I think you should check it out, it looks cool. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Shot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll check you on the next one. Cheers!